An ethnocracy is a type of political structure in which the state apparatus is appropriated by a dominant ethnic group or groups to further its interests, power and resources. Ethnocratic regimes typically display a combination of thin democratic facade covering a more profound ethnic structure, in which ethnicity or race, or religion and not citizenship, is the key to securing power and resources. An ethnocratic society facilitates the ethnicization of the state by the dominant group, through the expansion of control, often through conflict with minorities and neighboring states. Definition In the 20th century, a few states passed, or attempted to pass, nationality laws, through efforts that share certain similarities. All took place in countries with at least one national minority that sought full equality in the state or in a territory that had become part of the state and in which it had lived for generations. Nationality laws were passed in societies that felt threatened by these minorities' aspirations of integration and demands for equality, resulting in regimes that turned xenophobia into major tropes. Nationality laws were passed in states that were grounded in one ethnic identity, defined in contrast to the identity of the other, leading to persecution of and codified discrimination against minorities. Research shows that several spheres of regime control are vital for ethnocratic regimes, including the armed forces, police, land administration, immigration control, and economic development. These power government instruments ensure the long-term domination of the leading ethnic groups, and the stratification of society into ethnic classes, which has been exacerbated by the recent stage of capitalism, with its typical neoliberal policies. Ethnocracies often manage to contain ethnic conflict in the short term by effective control over minorities, and by effectively using the thin procedural democratic facade. However, they tend to become unstable in the long term, suffering from repeated conflict and crisis, which are resolved by either substantive democratization, partition, or regime devolution into consociational arrangements. Alternatively, ethnocracies that do not resolve their internal conflict may deteriorate into periods of long-term internal strife and the institutionalization of structural discrimination or apartheid. In ethnocratic states the government is typically representative of a particular ethnic group holding a number of posts disproportionately large to the percentage of the total population. The dominant ethnic group or groups represents and use them to advance the position of their particular ethnic groups to the detriment of others. Other ethnic groups are systematically discriminated against by the state and may face repression or violations of their human rights at the hands of state organs. Ethnocracy can also be a political regime which is instituted on the basis of qualified rights to citizenship, and with ethnic affiliation defined in terms of race, descent, religion, or language as the distinguishing principle. Generally, the raison d'etre of an ethnocratic government is to secure the most important instruments of state power in the hands of a specific ethnic collectivity. All other considerations concerning the distribution of power are ultimately subordinated to this basic intention. Ethnocracies are characterized by their control system, the legal, institutional, and physical instruments of power deemed necessary to secure ethnic dominance. The degree of system discrimination will tend to vary greatly from case to case and from situation to situation. If the dominant group whose interests the system is meant to serve and whose identity it is meant to represent constitutes a small minority typically 20% or less of the population within the state territory, substantial degrees of institutionalized suppression will probably be necessary to sustain its control. <laughs> Monoethnocracy versus polyethnocracy In October 2012, Lise Morje Howard introduced the terms monoethnocracy and polyethnocracy. Monoethnocracy is a type of regime where one ethnic group dominates, which conforms with the traditional understanding of ethnocracy. Polyethnocracy is a type of regime where more than one ethnic group governs the state. Both mono and polyethnocracy are types of ethnocracy. Ethnocracy is founded on the assumptions that ethnic groups are primordial, ethnicity is the basis of political identity, and citizens rarely share multiple ethnic identities. Ethnocracies around the world Belgium Lise Morje Howard has labeled Belgium as both a polyethnocracy and a democracy. Citizens in Belgium exercise political rights found in democracies, such as voting and free speech. 
However, Belgian politics is increasingly defined by ethnic divisions between the Flemish and Francophone. For example, all the major political parties are formed around either a Flemish or Francophone identity. Furthermore, bilingual education has disappeared from most Francophone schools. Israel Israel has been labeled an ethnocracy by scholars such as, Alexander Kedar, Shlomo Sand, Oren Yiftachel, Asad Ghanim, Chaim Yaqabi, Nur Masala and Hannah Nava. However, scholars such as Gershon Shafir, Yoav Peld and Sami Smuha prefer the term ethnic democracy to describe Israel, a term which is intended to represent a middle ground between an ethnocracy and a liberal democracy. Smuha in particular argues that ethnocracy, allowing a privileged status to a dominant ethnic majority while ensuring that all individuals have equal rights, is defensible. His opponents reply that insofar as Israel contravenes equality in practice, the term democratic in his equation is flawed. <laughs> <laughs> Latvia and Estonia There is a spectrum of opinion among authors as to the classification of Latvia and Estonia, spanning from liberal or civic democracy through ethnic democracy to ethnocracy. Will Kimlicka regards Estonia as a democracy, stressing the peculiar status of Russian speakers, stemming from being at once partly transients, partly immigrants, and partly natives. British researcher Neil Melvin concludes that Estonia is moving towards a genuinely pluralist democratic society through its liberalization of citizenship and actively drawing of leaders of the Russian settler communities into the political process. James Hughes, in the United Nations Development Programme's Development and Transition, contends Latvia and Estonia are cases of ethnic democracy where the state has been captured by the titular ethnic group and then used to promote nationalizing policies and alleged discrimination against Russophone minorities. Development and Transition has also published papers disputing Hughes' contentions. Israeli researchers Oren Yiftachel and Assad Ghanem consider Estonia as an ethnocracy. Israeli sociologist Sami Smuha, of the University of Haifa, disagrees with Yiftachel, contending that the ethnocratic model developed by Yiftachel does not fit the case of Latvia and Estonia, it is not a settler society as its core ethnic group is indigenous, nor did it expand territorially or have a diaspora intervening in its internal affairs as in the case of Israel for which Yiftachel originally developed his model. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland has been described as an ethnocracy by numerous scholars. Wendy Pullen describes gerrymandering of electoral districts to ensure unionist domination, and informal policies that led to the police force being overwhelmingly Protestant, as features of the unionist ethnocracy. Other elements included discriminatory housing and policies designed to encourage Catholic emigration. Ian Shuttleworth, Miles Gould and Paul Barr agree that the systematic bias against Catholics and Irish nationalists fit the criteria for describing Northern Ireland as an ethnocracy from the time of the partition of Ireland until at least 1972, but argue that after the suspension of the Stormont Parliament, and even more so after the Good Friday Agreement in 1998, ethnocracy was weakened, and that Northern Ireland cannot be plausibly described as an ethnocracy today. Topic. South Africa Ethnocracy indicates a specific principle of power distribution in a society. In his book Power Sharing in South Africa, Arend Leiphardt classifies contemporary constitutional proposals for a solution to the conflict in South Africa into four categories Majoritarian one man, one vote Non-democratic varieties of white domination Partitionist creating new political entities Consociational power sharing by proportional representation and elite accommodation 1985 Leiphardt argues strongly in favor of the consociational model and his categories illustrates that, on the constitutional level, state power can be distributed along two dimensions, legal institutional and territorial. Along the legal institutional dimension we can distinguish between singularism power centralized according to membership in a specific group, pluralism power distribution among defined groups according to relative numerical strength, and universalism power distribution without any group-specific qualifications. The three main alternatives on the territorial dimension are the unitary state, intermediate restructuring, within one formal sovereignty, and partition creating separate political entities. 
Ethnocracy indicates a specific principle of power distribution in a society. Topic: <inaudible> Turkey. Turkey has been described as an ethnocracy by Bilge Azgin. Azgin points to government policies whose goals are the exclusion, marginalization, or assimilation of minority groups that are non-Turkish as the defining elements of Turkish ethnocracy. Asad Ghanem also considers Turkey as an ethnocracy. Jack Fong describes Turkey's policy of referring to its Kurdish minority as Mountain Turks and to its refusal to acknowledge any separate Kurdish identity as elements of the Turkish ethnocracy. <laughs> Uganda Uganda under dictator Idi Amin Dada has also been described as an ethnocracy favoring certain indigenous groups over others, as well as for the ethnic cleansing of Indians in Uganda by Amin. See also References External links Politics of Ethnocracies, Strategies and Dilemmas of Ethnic Domination Nils A. Butenchan.